Hi, this is Marty, and welcome back for another video. All right, so um, in this video, I wanted to uh, well, teach you about MBTI basics, if you don't even know, my way. I don't know, there's a lot of uh, YouTube channels, right? So I thought I would do a little video on my way and like show you what I'm learning, all right? It's really good stuff, okay. All right, oh, so yeah, let me do it on the board, and uh, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, right back. Okay, welcome back. All right, so as you can see, we have four boxes, all right? All right, what these four boxes basically represent are two choices, okay? Draw a line through each one of them, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay? So the interesting thing about MBTI and MBTI basics is you are gonna either choose one or the other and never both. And that is called the MBTI dichotomy. Basically, I've done another video on it, link down below, basically as it relates to E for extro extroverted, I for introverted, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging, and perceiving, okay? So basically what happens is MBTI comes along and says, hey, are you extroverted or introverted? And you're like, well, I don't know. Can I get an example? And you take a test and blah, 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 blah. Let me make it easy for you, okay? Are you extroverted or introverted? Do you get your energy from other people or by yourself. So let me give you an example. Say, for example, you're sitting at your home and you're alone and your roommate is out and you're sitting there calm and it's about, it's a Friday night, it's 8 30, 9 o'clock at night, okay? And you, your roommate comes home and let's call, uh, say, you know, I don't know, uh, let's say the roommate's name is Todd. Good name, right? Happens to be my friend. Okay. So Todd walks in the door and, and basically, let's do this for me, right? And I say, hey, what's going on? He says, hey, Marty, there is a freaking band playing and everyone's going. Okay. The first thing in your mind that you heard was go outside. Second thing you heard was band playing, loud music. Third thing you heard was a lot of people. Everyone's going. If you are like, oh my God, let's go. You are extroverted. If you said, no, I really don't want to go. I don't feel like blah, blah, blah. You are introverted. The energy going outside, being around people, the band playing, the excitement, the energy in the room. If you need that to recharge and energize you, if that interests you, you are extroverted. If you were perfectly happy saying, hey, no, Todd, just sit on the couch, watch TV and hang out, grab a beer, just sit here and you are introverted, meaning the quiet calm is energizing you. OK. All right. The second one. So um, this is uh, EI. This is attitude. Ad attitude. OK. This one is perceiving. So your choices between the two perceiving are sensing and intuition. But this is really an N, not an I, but an N, okay? So sensing and perceiving and intuition is basically very simple. This is the gathering of information. How do you take in information? Well, this one's like the easiest out of all of them. Sensing is basically, do I use my eyes, ears, smell, mouth, touch to gather information 
toward me. Intuition, or N, is do I use past experiences? Do I use my thoughts? And I did the video, and, and I'll put the link below. And do I gather information without opening my mouth, smelling anything, closing my eyes, and putting my hands in my pocket? Can I still gather information? Basically, that is intuition. Now, the next one is judging. And we have two choices. We have thinking, represented by the T, and feeling. Here is a great way to think about the, co the cognitive functions of judging. Thinking versus feeling. Thinking, think, logic. One plus one equals two. Logical thinking, putting pieces together. Feeling, very simple. Do you always try to get a win-win as it relates to how you interact with the world? Do you need to put one plus one equals two? Logical thinking to make a conclusion about something? Or are your conclusions based on win-win and not self? That is feeling, the cognitive function of feeling. The last one is the attitude of judging or perception. Now, the cool thing about MBTI, and I'm not sure how, I mean, like it is pretty, it's, it's pretty freaking smart how, how this, how this works. Well, here's a good way to look at this. Okay. Um, think of the word uh, agile. And I know this uh, from uh, software development, agile software development, um, perceiving could not do agile software development. Perceiving needs to have all and everything thought out, whereby the attitude of judging would be quick to move short-term, long-term goals, and um, let's get it out there and let's, let's deal with the problems later, where the perceiving under attitude um, would not be able to do that. They need to have everything thought out, everything in its nice, neat little boxes, and we don't want to have any problems later on. Um, that's the massive difference between agile software development is uh, very judgment-oriented and not uh, perceiving-oriented. Um, so if, you're a, if, you're, if you understand agile, you, you know, understand what I just said. Okay, well, one really interesting thing about MBTI is when you look at the functions, the cognitive functions, the last letter gives you, regardless of your of your attitude of how you uh, how you feed off of the world, whether you're you're extroverted or introverted, uh, the last letter tells you what is extroverted or introverted, unrelated to this attitude, with regards to the function of perceiving or judging. So, if you are a judging. Your judging, thinking, or feeling is extroverted. Then your uh, preference for perceiving, regardless of its sensing or intuition, is introverted. Okay? If you're perceiving, your last letter is a P. So INFJ, INFP, the INFP, the P, represents the dominant uh, extroverted sensing or intuition and introverted judging, thinking, or feeling. If you are trying to understand MBTI and learn that it's not about the letters and it's not about dichotomies, it's about the cognitive functions. Dico it, it, when someone says it's not about the dichotomies, basically what they're saying is it's not about the choice between E and I. 
S and N, T and F, J and P. It, that's just not what it's about. It's about what the personality type is going to do with regards to extroverted feeling. Because I, N, F, J, the J tells you that J, judging, extroverted, dominant, feeling. Okay? What is and how do you know if you're truly an INFJ? Do you come at the world with a win-win? When you meet someone, are you looking at them not from what you can take from them, but what you can give them and create for yourself? Win, win. All right, that's a very simple, basic thing, but it has a lot of weight, okay? Because then you can go to uh, the attitude of introverted and, well, you're introverted. You're not going to get up and go with Todd to the freaking band playing in, in, in with, with thousands of people. You're going to want to stay home. That's the introverted. That's the I. Now we've got the F, the win win. What is the introverted? Um, what is it? Auxiliary, I think, of your dominant function. Well, that's going to be I-N. That's intuition. Intuition is how the INFJ comes to the win-win. It uses its, it uses its intuition to see the world. It doesn't, it hands in pocket, mouth shut, eyes, ears. It doesn't need any of them. I can do it. I can do a win-win with intuition. I don't need to taste, hear, see, smell anything. See how that works? Okay. And then the judging, the INFJ is, doesn't want to plan. It doesn't need to go one, two, three, four. It doesn't. The INFJ can go one and bounce and worry about all the problems that this created by the bounce at a later time. In the attitude of judging or perceiving, the perceiving individual, the INFP, can't do that. The INFP is going to want to plan. Feel, and the INFP will feel very, very uneasy about that. Very. Okay? So, I hope this helps. Am I doing right? Am I doing good? Go leave the comments below. It's either good or it's shit. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right. So this is Marty on MBTI Basics, and uh, it's fascinating. And I cannot wait to bring this knowledge to my wealth of knowledge on nurture. Yes. This is Marty, and we'll see you in the next video.